Hey guys. Okay. I'm going to just say this. I am the world's number one expert on the quote unquote death or death hoax of Michael Jackson, period. Okay. In the world. Because I don't think anybody gives a damn as much as I do. Okay. O M G. O M G. I have been reading, and I, and I hate to say I never read the um, the appellant decision on the Conrad Murray verdict. Okay, Conrad Murray was convicted of voluntary manslaughter because of a lack of standard of care. Just egregious, just ridiculous if it was true. It is just like Keystone Cop stupidity, okay? Conrad Murray did not know how to do CPR apparently. Well, I have found... The stupidest, most outrageous thing, even though it's been in the back of my head, but now reading the summary of the appellant, and I'm only halfway through, but I just could not wait to share this with you guys. OMG. All right. Somebody dies, right? They find the bullet inside somebody, right? And then they find the gun, right? And then they don't test that the bullet came from the gun. <laughs> So, on appeal, you guys are wondering where I'm going with this. Okay, so we're talking about how somebody died, okay? So, apparently, the stupid apparatus that you guys, if you haven't watched the Alive docuseries, you must watch it. All four, okay? And even read Suicide too. okay? And please watch A Prisoner of Fame. They all go together, okay? I am accurate. I am precise. And what I'm telling you guys is the truth. And just because people in the other parts of the world don't know it and call me crazy, stupid, mean, evil, uh, cruel, uh, insane, is because they don't know what I know. Okay? Because they don't know what I know. And they're not at the level of Michael Jackson's intelligence and his genius and his desperation to retire by faking his death. Okay? Did the FBI give him permission to do that? I don't know. I, I know Marlon was wearing an FBI hat the next day, and I know Michael wrote 11, 11, 11, and on 11, 11, 11, the FBI movie came out about J. Edgar Hoover. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But anyway, uh, anyway, you got to watch my 500 videos, too, because there's more information in those 500 videos than there are, because everything doesn't make it into the docu the docu um, series. And the reason why is because the docu series has to you know, it, it has to flow. It has to make sense. It has to carry on the biggest stuff. Okay. All right. So apparently Dr. Murray was given Michael propofol and a drip. And while Michael was on a drip, Dr. Murray leaves the room and Michael, uh, when he comes back, Michael's dead. He stops breathing. That's the story, right? So there is supposed to be, you guys learned in a live four, that there is a plastic tab that goes on all propofol bottles, okay? I showed that to you guys, where you just hang up the bottle of propofol. Well, since Michael and Murray forgot to pull the tabs, because <laughs> you can't remember everything, right, Michael? Can't remember everything. How did the drip happen? So in the uh, uh, trial, they tried to figure it out with Dr. Schaefer versus Dum Dum, Dr. White, right? And Murray's defense team are also idiots and dumb dumb like keystone dumb dumbs okay and i'm gonna tell you why in a second okay so anyway so they so alberto alvarez and elisa fleek because elisa fleek i have not seen ed winter's name or craig uh um ed ed winter and who's the other uh craig somebody craig harvey okay haven't seen their names mentioned yet i i, I haven't read the whole thing mentioned yet as far as this appellant reading, just Elisa Fleek. I was there when she testified. I heard her testify and she was terrified. Okay, let me tell you why. Because until the preliminary hearing, it did not come up for months, even over a year, that there was a, a, a rib saline bag. And in the rib saline bag, you guys watch Alive too. They put the bottle of propofol in there, right? <laughs> it's just stupid, right? Because they couldn't figure out if it was drip, how was, how was it hanging, right? And how was it, it, it being fed? So they invented, because why didn't you remember that from the beginning? God, I saw a, a, a rip saline bag and then the propofol and blah, blah, right? So that comes up later, okay? Not at first. 
Okay. Dr. Murray, if it was true that Michael was dead, deserved to be in jail, okay, because of the standard of care was just ridiculous. You're not supposed to use propofol for sleep. There's many other things you can use. Like I told you guys, Michael never used a sleep disorder therapist, so that's BS. Michael's not touring. He was performing. And if anything that Michael can do with, with his hands behind his back is sing and dance, okay? He ain't under stress knowing he's going to go on stage to sing and dance, Especially after he done sold all them tickets. If he knows anything, he knows how to sing and dance real good. <laughs> real, real, real better than anyone else in the world. So he ain't under stress about that. Okay? He's not. And you're not touring. So you're not going from uh, time zone to time zone to time zone to time zone. You're going to one place. Okay? One place. So you're not having problems sleeping. Okay, Michael? Let's, let's, let's be real here. Okay? Now... With Dr. Murray, Michael said, I can't sleep. I can't sleep. Too much pressure. Too much pressure. Right. Got all these people working for him, sold out all the tickets and, and all this stuff showing that he's still viable and loved. It ain't hard to put together a show. If anything, he'd been doing it since he was five, six years old. OK, so anyway, so he was giving him propofol to sleep. Right. Apparently. OK, four gallons he ordered, but forgot to pull the tabs on all the bottles of propofol found in the house. OK. So the apparatus, the stupid, idiotic apparatus with the slit slaving bag with the bottle of propofol in it, and the and then the and then that's how the propofol was hanging because they couldn't explain how it's hanging. So they invented that later on, Alberto Alvarez and Elisa Fleek. Okay, now, so we know that propofol and the benzodiazepines, and like I showed you, the original body of the the I got I can't say it on. I believe the, the, the cryonic body that he used, and I got something else with the cryonics. I just got to look it up some more. Uh, that's, that's tomorrow, okay? Uh, um, that's, how the, 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 that's how I think the original body died from a benzodiazepines overdose. And that's why that, those, those medicines were there. Because, duh, you just Google, you just look up, you know, uh, what to give somebody for sleep disorders, okay? Michael never saw a sleep disorder doctor. Okay, if you can't sleep, that's the main person you going to. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So, the murder weapon is the bottle of propofol in the cut saline bag, in a drip, going into Michael's veins. Uh, Michael dies, and the propofol bottle and the propofol keeps dripping in the bottle, keeps dripping in the body, right? Because the propofol was ingested after death. OK, so that's the excuse that they came up with, which is BS. OK, it cryonics uses propofol. OK, and cryonics uses something else, too, that was found in the body. All right, I honestly leave that for part two. All right. Do you know that Alberto Alvarez, I remember him testifying that at the bottom of the saline bag, why would the bottom of the saline bag have propofol left in it? Why? With lidocaine in it. Why? When it's just there as kind of a prop to hold up the propofol bottle. But he said there was a white milky substance in Exhibit 30. So we're talking about Exhibit 29, which is the saline bag, and Exhibit 30, which is, no, 29 is the, uh, I think, the propofol bottle. and Well, 29 and 30 is the apparatus, okay? The propofol bottle and the saline bag. I don't remember which one, but it's Exhibit 29 and Exhibit 30. Exhibit 30, I think, was the saline bag. Let me see. Uh, well, just trust me. All right. Uh, I, I just don't have that much time. Do you know during the trial that they never tested what was in the saline bottle? What was in the, the, the saline bottle? What was that white milky substance? Do you know they never ever tested that during the trial, even though it was brought up? So Conrad Murray wants to say that uh, um, I need a new trial because it was unfair because my counsel did not bring up and, and we did not test what the, the white milky substance that Alberto Alvarez said that was inside of the murder weapon, which is the, the, the saline bag, right? You didn't test it during the whole trial? That's like, here's a gun. The bullets in this person, let's make sure the bullet and the gun match. So let's do forensics on the gun to make sure the ridges that are inside the gun matches the ridges that are on the bullet, right? ABCs. 
ABC of any murder case test the murder weapon. They did not. That's equivalent to a cardiologist not knowing how to do CPR. Okay, so the, the, the appellate court was like, dude, you knew. They talked about it. You knew. How come you didn't have it tested during the trial? You can't get it tested after the trial. You can't. Okay. So anyway, that, that was one of the stupid things. Then they say in here that uh, nothing about testing the body. to <laughs> See if the body was really Michael Jackson's body. Which this happened. This verdict came decision was January 2014. Okay. Fans making videos, doing all this, all that. And I believe Conrad Murray was released in 2013. Right. Right. So uh, you did not listen to not one fan talk about the name game. Michael name, Michael Joe Jackson versus Michael Joseph Jackson. Nobody tested to see who the confirmed that that's the body in the appellate. They said Michael came home around midnight. OK, fans greeted him. So Michael wanted to make sure he greeted the fans. Right. So you see that I went in there. Right. You, you see that. Right. Then it says in here, in the appellate, that it had 24-hour surveillance. Ah, whoop, 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 whoop. It was erased. The tape was erased for that night. Okay? The tape was erased for that night. Okay? We don't know what went into Carol Wood and what came out of Carol Wood that, that night because the police surveillance tape was erased and the other one was broken. On the other entrance was broken. I'm just saying. Uh, when you have the coroner, yes, Mr. Coroner, you lied about naming the dead body from a California driver's license. And I'm about sick of people calling me names, attacking me, threatening my life, and telling me that I'm an idiot because... I'm just an investigative journalist doing my job. Michael's the one that pushed me to do all this, to get here and do all this. Never paid me a penny. So therefore, I'm my own boss, right? All the clues the family's left and all the games and Jermaine wearing the living as king, announcing his brother dead with no doctors there and Comrade Murray not, didn't keep any medical records. You know why? Because that would have been him permitting fraud by putting the name Michael Jackson on medical records. Comrade Murray never gave nobody any propofol. That was all a stage. It was all set up just like in the movie A Prisoner of Fame. Because the, I don't know how in the hell that any defense attorney doesn't know how to check out the murder weapon, the homicide weapon. Uh, uh, the homicide evidence didn't test it because it was supposed to have a mixture of propofol and lidocaine in that what that milky substance was never tested it and then when when the appellate court said well, how come you didn't test it oh we didn't think of it that's what murray's attorney said we didn't think of it <laughs> and then dr white who was the defenses during the trial Conrad murray trial uh dr white who was the expert for uh, the defense was no good. He agreed. Yep, it was. It, it violated a, a nat normal standard of care. It was egregious. It was a violation. And he did not say, "Look, we need to test the murder weapon." I'm, I'm just telling you guys, it is absolutely absurd. Absurd. Michael Jackson did not die from a cardiologist not doing CPR, and then the defense attorneys not testing the murder weapon, the homicide uh, weapon. It's just ridiculous. Okay, let me see what else. Conrad Murray was supposed to get paid $150,000 a month, never made a penny. Okay. Uh, he said he checked uh, Michael's body and had 122 beats per minute. Average is um, 70 to 100 beats per minute for an adult. So I don't know what that was all about. Okay. Uh, Murray never testified under oath. Never, ever. Okay. The, the, when Murray said he gave Michael all those lorazepams and my dad's and lambs and all those benzodiazepines, they matched Elvis's night where Elvis was given the same cocktails, uh, the, uh, cocktails during the same uh, times throughout the night. It's just all ridiculous. Okay. Um, the reason why Conrad Murray did not sign Michael in is Michael Jackson, because he knew. He knew the body wasn't Michael Jackson. So they signed him in as Soleil Sean. Okay. And that was never changed. 
All right. Um, they, they didn't want them to die at the house because it reduces house value. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Um, uh, the bag that ha the, 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 the Conrad Murray told them about bags, right? That, that the propofol was in a bag and a closet and blue bag and a black bag and all this other stuff. Well, they went and retrieved the bag on the 29th. The 25th is when they first went over to Carol Wood um, doing an in-depth investigation. Then Latoya and them, okay, went to the house with Jeffrey. Who knows what they put in the house, right? Then they, re they retrieved these bags on the 29th. How do we know them, those bags weren't uh, put there by Latoya and them? It was a Costco bag uh, and a blue bag and a black bag, okay? That's where the part of the, that's where the gun was, okay? <laughs> Which was the propofol and the slip bag with the, with the propofol bottle, okay? All right, so um, let's see. Um, error, let's see. Oh, and then Michael was, we, I was there. Michael was going to Dr. Klein's office to get his shots of Demerol. They didn't find Demerol in the toxicology report. Which goes to tell you that that body wasn't Michael's. Okay? Michael wanted to go to... Uh, he was like, look, have him figure it out. Okay? Because he wanted to have his little Botox and his little shots to make sure his face looked good. Because he knew that was the last time fans were going to see him perform. Okay? Didn't find any Demerol. <laughs> and we know Conrad, uh, Dr. Uh, Klein was giving him... And then Dr. Klein didn't testify. <laughs> I mean, this case is just ridiculous. All right, let me see what else. And then I got to go. Okay, um, let me see. There's more stuff here. Uh, oh, and then he didn't, Conrad Murray did not have an infusion pump. He didn't have nothing to tell him how many doses he's given somebody. Or or, or he didn't have a heart heart monitor. He had a little pulse meter right? That he told, apparently told Alberto Alvarez to put it in his pocket. Or put it in the blue bag, right? I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Then Dr. Murray is giving uh, CPR while Alberto Alvarez is in, in, in there helping him. So Dr. Murray's is at the face. Com uh, Alberto Alvarez is at the foot. So all Conrad Murray had to do was just make sure um, he didn't have good uh, view of Michael Jackson's face. And then remember the EMT said they thought it was an old white cancer patient who'd been suffering a long illness. We know Michael didn't look like that um, 24 hours earlier. We know that. 12 hours earlier. Okay, we know that. All right. Then, uh, and then it was ghetto. <laughs> right? To hang the propofol in a, pl in a slit saline bag. How ghetto is that? And they had a black doctor, so let's believe that the black people are incompetent. You know, like he's just a, a crazy incompetent uh, a doctor. Well, anyway, that's what I have for now. So I got to go. I'm going somewhere fun. I'll try to send pictures and I will talk to you guys next time. Okay. Bye-bye.